Larry. What's up, man? Good to see you. My buddy Larry Huber pulls in. He's my friend. He's my dentist. He's a terrific guy and a real car guy. He shows up in his 50 Cadillac that I've been trying to buy for 39 and a half years when he got it just to irritate me. So what brings you over here? Maybe I ought to buy myself another toy. A Saturday night car with air conditioning, six passenger old convertible. Well, how about if I buy this convertible? Not a chance. It's a Not 1950, a right? It's a 50, and I've had it for 39 and a half years. You know that. Yeah, but how We've about if I give you 50 grand years. for the car? 50 grand, 1,000 a year. I, I have too much enjoyment with it. I got a Caddy convertible, just came in. Yeah. Six passenger, air conditioning, power top, it all works. Good car. Let's look. Let if me you show like you. it, I like it. I like this. Yeah, this is the greatest. I'll give you 52 grand for it right now. Not a chance. What would I do with the money anyway? You don't need it. The Eldorado I'm going to show him is right up his alley. Big, fat convertible. So from one caddy guy to another caddy guy. That's true. I like the color. I don't know if you know that this car was built as a clone of my old car. Same proportions, 126-inch wheelbase, same fake air intake on the side. Larry went into detail about how these cars are so much alike. I had no idea, never thought of it, even to the wheelbase being exact. I saw that 72 Eldorado and I liked it for a lot of reasons, one of which is the car was built as a clone of my 1950. Had the same grill, same front fender line, same rear fender line, although my car has the little bitty fishtail fin. So it is, in fact, a modern version, if you can call 45-year-old car modern, of this vintage of Cadillac that I already have. I like this car. It's a really good car. It's got a beautiful leather interior matching brown with the car. It's got a new top on it. Top works, windows work, AC works, and the car is drives, it's a 10. Want to hear it run? I do. <laughs> there you go. What kind of car it is? Ted got in that car, started it right up. I was impressed, I have to admit, but anything he would want me to buy, I know would run well and be easy to start. Larry likes the size of the car, he likes that it's a convertible, he likes the color. No brainer, he's gonna buy the car. So what's the damage? Well, I want 14.5 for the car. Your price, because you're a family, is 12. And that's okay, where it's at. Take a little look here. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair deal. It worked? It works for me. Done. Come here, you. <laughs> you know, we got a lot of memories, Dale. Yes, we do. A lot of a stories. Lot of fun. You know, I'm used to getting punched and beat up and yelled at. I get a hug at the end. That's Larry. Ted likes to sell cars, and I like to buy them. If we ever feel like making a change, I'll bring it back, and I'll trade it for something else that he has. Out of 360 cars, I'm sure I'll find something else I like. My friend Pascal called me, and he's interested in my Range Rover. Pascal only trades classic cars. This is a big change for him, and I'm very surprised. Pascal, what are you doing? Set it up in my place. Yes. I must have something you want. How are you, my friend? How are you, my friend? <laughs> see you. I'm visiting Ted today because I need a modern car. I have only classic cars, and to drive every day with my family, uh, it's not good. And I think the Range Rover from Ted is around $35,000, so I bring him around $50,000 or $55,000 car, and maybe we can make a deal. So I have too much cars now. And you know, I can't export this, this kind of car in Europe. Nobody knows that. They know Mustang, they know Corvette, but so maybe we can make a deal. Yeah, these are my kind of cars, yeah. no question. The Range Rover's here. I must tell you that I'm not fond of the car. It's got bad karma for me, <laughs> and I've had a few problems with it mechanically. Yeah, and I know I'm, that. It doesn't bother you. No. I told him that I don't like the car. He says, not a problem, he needs the car. Perfect for me. I need that car gone. What I propose is these four cars that you don't want, I'll take them, and you can have the Range Rover. Are you crazy, Ted? <laughs> Am I crazy? I've been crazy all my life. What's that going to do with anything? <laughs> yes, but it's $65,000 car. I give you four cars for a $35,000 car. Let's go over the numbers. I'm not giving him my uh, forecast for this Range Rover. It's always like this with Ted, and uh, we find an arrangement at the end. You know, Pascal's done this a few times. I'm sure he's not going to accept my first offer, but then he'll have to come back and let me know what he wants to do. Maybe I give him another car, maybe I give him a little money. We'll make it happen. How much is this car? What do you think it wants? For you. To be really nice, 15. This one, it's exactly a car for you. 
It's, uh, it's customized. customized. You love that. You have all car customized. But here. it's a very limited market. We'll call it 10. So okay. let's call this like 25 so far. 25. Okay, 25. Okay, I agree with you. Now, this is a Roadrunner. This I can sell. Legitimately, the car's worth a quarter. 25 grand. Yeah. So now we're at around 50. Yeah. 68. 68. One owner car. 10 grand. No. Are you kidding me? It's $15,000 car. You can sell it Retail? for 20. No. Yes. No. I came your way a little bit here. Let's call the whole package 60. Okay. Okay. So. Good. Show me your Range Rover. I'm going to do what it takes within reason to get these four cars because I want the Range Rover out of my life. This has a sunroof. This has all the toys, the leather, the piping, everything. Come on. Yeah, it's about 80,000 miles. Yeah, but it rested on the side of the road a lot. <laughs> the minimum I can deal with him is uh, the Range Rover, $18,000. I know that I lose money, but it's a deal. And I made deal all the time with him. Sometimes I take money, sometimes I lose money. But it's business. This one, how Retail. much do you think? 45. 45. It's around 35 to 40. So how much you give Your me? Your cars are really worth 50. So I should give you $10,000 and we're done. No. Come on, I'm in the car business and so are you. Yes. I'll give you 10,000 and the Range Rover. You need the Range Rover, you need it for your family. Okay, 18, we do the deal. No. Think about it. You know, I do so many deals with you, I really don't like to get in this discussion. With you and me, we don't argue, we don't fight. Okay. And I'm trying to be fair with you, you need it for your family. I'll give you 15,000 cash. Okay, we have the deal. Done? Yeah, okay, it's okay. Good. Easy as that. Yeah. It's always pleasant with you. The deal is good with, uh, with Ted because uh, I gave it to him for a nice car. He can sell it with a profit. And I have the car I want. Sometimes we make deal and it's always cars. But today I take cash, so I'm happy. I'm ecstatic about the deal. I got four beautiful pieces of merchandise. Had to give a little money, no problem. And I got rid of the Range Rover. Oh God, am I happy.